Hi there, this is Daisy from Bridges Handmade Arts and Crafts. I have another project to share with you and I'm so excited. I used the Graphic 45's World Fair collection to make this mini album. This mini album is an eight and a half by eight and one fourth mini album. A bit different from my usual eight by eight mini album. Okay, so let me show you the materials that I used. I used one of this, the 12 by 12, and then I used two of the 8 by 8, one of the 6 by 6, the ephemera cards, both of the chipboard tags for journaling and for decorative and then the pockets and tags and lastly the sticker sheet so let's start this is the front cover in the front cover I did a lot of fussy cutting I fussy cut the hot air balloons small different sizes and different colors and the flowers I really love these flowers and the lady was driving and some of these uh, tickets and I made this into a pocket so what I used was the signature sheet of the collection and I just uh, added all the stuff to build the front cover okay. so here the, uh, I made a pocket and I placed in you know small journey cards and a tag of Eiffel Tower and on the word on the word World's Fair I put Wink of Stella and I used glossy accents on top of it to give it dimension and I put in uh, metal corner embellishments okay. and um, these uh, metal corner embellishments plus the ones here on the spine I got from Country Craft Creations okay. this one is from the chipboard it says World's Fair and then here there's a parachute charm, the Eiffel Tower, and uh, a frame where you could put your picture. Okay. And on the back, this is how it looks. Okay. So let's start. Uh, my usual go-to closure is um, the use of ribbons so I have the ribbons here okay so let's start on the first page there's a chipboard tag here which is magnetized and I adhered ribbons to close this area, to secure the area. So, it opens this way. You could actually put a picture here also at the back. And on this side, room for pictures and for journaling. There's a magnet, it opens this way. <clears throat> and here, room for larger photos. And it opens this way. To reveal a very nice and colorful spread if you would notice this is my favorite among all the sheets I really like this um, and after this I like the parachutes anyway you'll see those so here I made the belly band and um, I put in journaling tags here on both sides and Actually, you could tuck in a picture here. 
could remove this and tuck in a picture. Okay? You could put a picture here also and write something about it here at the back. And here is an envelope, like a, I'm sorry, a pocket. It contains a larger journaling tag. For this one, what I used was um, A2 brackets border one of spellbinders. I basically used um, I basically used this one and this one, this two. And for the designer paper, I used just this one, the one that cuts on the black. This both together like that okay <clears throat> okay so it closes that way and I gave a little slack here so that there would be room to expand once the pictures are put in and all the other journaling tags. On the next page, here I have a journaling tag which I matted and I inserted here so I made a pocket here. Okay. And then there's a swing tab here, pins this way, and there's another beautiful spread. And here, a pocket for larger journaling card or maybe for pictures. Okay. And on this side, there's another swing tab, pins this way, and to reveal a larger area for your bigger photos and we're not yet done there's another magnetized um, pull tab here and it opens this way a pocket side pocket for journaling and this is the other sheet I told you that was uh, very beautiful next to this one this one this is the hot air balloon page so this is where I cut out a lot of the portions in the front cover okay and then there's a big pull out here I cut out the hot air balloon for the big pull out so you can put the photo here and write something about it there or you can basically use this to journal whatever photo you will place here well it's really up to you okay. on the next page there's a ribbon here and then you open it and this opens so these are the cut aparts I use the cut aparts on this page a lot of it this one and then here it opens and it pulls down and there's room for a side pocket here and then a journal card or you can basically put pictures here as well and here's a magnetized swing tab that opens gatefold style and these are additional cut aparts journaling cards you can be, place a big photo here and write something about it here okay, lots of room and then this entire thing swings and you can more room here for another photo here as well, a larger area for bigger photos. It opens this way. On this page, 
I used uh, an element from the pockets and tags and here, there's a pull-out for journaling. <clears throat> and on this one, I made this word into a pocket and you can slide in these tags. Okay? So it closes using the ribbon. On the next page, <clears throat> there's a belly band. It's magnetized. I used one of the elements from the chipboard, uh, chipboard tags, decorative chipboard, and when you open it, you can place a photo here, and on the side here is a smaller pocket for smaller journaling tags. This mini album has room for lots of secret compartments and in your secret compartments you can place a lot of your photos big and small and I used basically and most of my layouts here are new layouts uh, there's just about one or two that have been uh, that I have used in my previous mini albums so when you open it um, here you can place a photo here and here there's a side pocket for a larger journaling tag journaling card I'm sorry and these are cut aparts which I made into pages which you could open you can place a photo here okay. and here too a larger photo lots of room for your photos and for your journaling And there's a large pull out here. Okay. <clears throat> Very colorful. And it's if you want a mini album that's for traveling, this is the one that you know you'd really like to use to document your travels especially in I think London and some other places so on the next page this um, flips up and then there's a gatefold page here I used one of the chipboard elements it opens this way there's a magnet and then another beautiful spread. I really love this design, this, this spread. Pocket for journaling cards. Okay. And on the next page, This is a pull tab and it opens up and you can place photos here, here as well, and it opens. There are two pockets here for a larger journaling card and for the smaller ones. And down here, if you can see it, um, I made one of the sticker sheets into a pocket. I matted it and used it as a small pocket where I could tuck in some smaller journaling cards. Okay. And then there's a swing tab here. It opens this way. And there's another swing tab here. It opens this way. So here. These are uh, from the pockets and tags. Okay. 
Okay. And there's a swing tab here. It opens this way. And another swing tab that pulls up and room for more photos. So this page has a lot of swing tabs. Okay. And there's the last pull out here. And on the next page, okay, there's a pocket here, and there's a journaling card where you can use also as a photo map. Okay, and then there's a pocket here for smaller photos. This page has a lot of things going on. One, one uh, pocket and then here another journaling or photo spot. And there's another pull out here, another space for photos or for journaling. And we're not done yet. There's another pull out here. Larger one for photos and for journaling. It slides here behind this. And there's a stopper here. Okay. And then there's a magnet here. It's magnetized and it opens to reveal another beautiful spread. So here, there's a chipboard, magnetized chipboard. There. Beautiful. And here, I made a pocket. And you can um, put in your tags and your journaling parts. flowers and there's a yellow flat pearl and this one is from memory box it's, it's actually a long strip and I cut it to make it into a pocket okay. and on the last page this is the waterfall page. On the top, uh, I you could slide in a journeying card or actually a photo. Because I fussy cut this portion and that's basically your frame. You can you can tuck in a photo here. A large a four by six photo. Okay, so that's how it looks. And you can write something about it in, in this portion, about the pictures that you put in here, in this black space. You could use a gold or silver or a white marker. There. There. Okay. Lots of room. Lots of secret compartments. You'd really be amazed at how much pictures this uh, mini album could hold. Again, the back. The front. I hope you enjoyed watching my mini album. I made this for about over a month. And I hope you like it. So. Please um, like my videos on YouTube and 
also here on Facebook. Thanks for watching. See you again.